It's strawberry planting day. It said to soak them for at least 30 minutes. So I did that. Okay, so I ordered 300 plants. I've got 100 Ozark Beauty, I think is what they're called. Yeah, those are ever bearing. So I'll have one full row of ever bearing. And then I have 100 of these honey oaks that are June bearing. So that will be a full row. And then I have 50 of these and 50 of those, which are both June bearing. One's sure crop and one is cabot. So this row I already went and dug the holes out after I drilled it. And I'm just going to start planting. Alright, I got that row done, and I'm too tired to get the other two rows done. So, I'll see you in the morning. Alright, I'm back at it this morning. I'm gonna get these two rows done. Good morning everyone. I'm back in this high tunnel planting, trying to get it all in. I brought all my plants out here that need to go in. Yesterday I burnt holes and dug holes in this row, this row, planted more tomatoes in this row, then I still need to burn holes and dig holes in this side. So right now I'm working on getting all my peppers in this row. I'm just putting these peppers in and then I'm going to come back in a little bit. I bought a bunch of mushroom compost and I'm going to top them with mushroom compost. I just kind of pushed them down in their holes for now. They're not buried. I just moved all the peppers that were right here down there because I realized my soaker hose doesn't go that far in the middle. So I just moved them. I have a few more from this tray to get in. And I'll go grab my other tray. And then once we're done with that, we will start putting compost in. Alright, I got all the peppers in. I have a lot more space. But I don't know what I'm going to do with. It might just end up being extra tomatoes over here. But the peppers are in. And instead of going to get compost right now, I'm going to just start planting tomatoes in this row. And finishing out this row. This row is struggling with the heat in this high tunnel. So I ordered shade cloth and it's coming today. Some of them look really good. And then some of them have just shriveled up into nothing and died. So, ladybug. So, I'm just gonna start planting more tomatoes.
But I got my compost in here and I started on my peppers, but Michael's home now, so we're gonna put shade cloth on the greenhouse. Woohoo, it's here. So we're gonna put the shade cloth on the inside of the greenhouse. We're gonna weave it up and over the poles. And I'm wondering if that will be better to not have to battle with wind and stuff, ripping this off. We're gonna give it a shot because I can't really see what difference it makes if it's on the outside or the inside, so. All right, we got the first section of shade cloth up and I think this is gonna work in here. There's some slack in it, but we're gonna zip tie the ends together. And then once we've got all of them up, we're gonna pull it tight and try to get as much of that slack out as we can. So we're gonna work on getting the other two up. It's good timing for this weather. It just got really cloudy and really cool. So it actually feels good in the greenhouse. First 10 minutes in here was awful, but it's nice now. Today, instead of working, we're gonna go for a hike around the farm. The kids have a bunch of supplies loaded up on their go-kart, chainsaw, Jackson brought us 22. They got some water and snacks and they're gonna lead the way. No. That's where we walk, that's the road we walked up on oh. in the creek right there. Hey, Lou. Look at that, that creek right there. See yeah. That? Just some runoff, huh? Yeah. So this is a spring. Well, it's a, no, it's a creek. Yeah, but look over here. Yeah, isn't that from it just coming down? No, this comes down right here. We'll go straight into that culvert. There's probably a spring under the leaf over there. It's beautiful. So most of this 100 acre property has roads going all through it. Uh, we can go all the way to the top of the mountain, cut all the way through the woods. We can pretty much get anywhere through the 100 acres on these roads. So it's pretty cool to be able to come out here and walk them and take the go-kart and hopefully eventually come out on a four-wheeler or a side-by-side -side and explore even more. So along these main roads, of course, we've got other little roads that turn off everywhere. Those ones haven't been maintained as well as this one. But we'll get in there someday and clear them up and see where they all lead us to. Right now, see the tree that fell? Yeah. You gotta look up. It's beautiful, isn't it? I think that's Mountain Laurel. Mountain Laurel. Look at that. Beautiful. Look, it goes, look how tall it is. Whoa. Wow. That's so pretty. Wait. There he is. Uh, Jackson! Jackson! I thought I lost you, now I'm done again. <laughs> Where'd you end up? I got stuck at the four way intersection thing that you call. So, Heather just made a good point. I hope you can see how steep this hill drops on the side of the road and then of course how steep it goes up on this side just imagine for a second if these roads weren't here we could never hike through here and enjoy this it would be awful so the fact that these roads are here this is just amazing oh yeah so yeah we're looking down on the pasture behind the house and up above all the gardens it's right through here
All right, so we just came up this road from the gate that we came through. And at this point, we just call it the four-way intersection. You can head back down this road and you end up back down at the house. You can head down this road and it takes you all the way to the top of the ridge where the back, where the back side of the property line is. <clears throat> or you could take this road it takes you almost to the top, but it actually takes you to something that we have been told is just called the gun house. And it's just a hunting blind built at the top of the ridge. It's very cool. We're not going to go there today. We'll show you that another time. We actually are done with our hike. We had a really good time. We're going to go try to get a couple things done. Heather has some work to do in the garden. She is getting very close to being finished with planting. And I am about halfway through building the perimeter fence around the garden. And I'm going to continue working on that while she continues to plant. Well, that was interesting. We had somebody drive by and stopped. Um, there's an art tour going on right now in our area for the whole weekend. People drive around and look at the people that make like clay pots and stuff like that. Anyways, she drove by and said there's a huge tree in the way down, at, down on the highway. Just want to let you know. Uh, so myself and our neighbor went down to see if we can get it out. Everybody worked together, finally got it cut up and then uh, got it pulled out of the highway there. So that was good. Um, good community here, a lot of good people always willing to help. So I'm gonna start working on the fence. I've already got, oh, probably close to half of it done. I am not using string or anything. I'm kind of eyeballing my posts just to get some hot wire up to keep the deer out. Uh, what I'm doing is I am doing six foot posts and then four foot posts, six foot posts, four foot posts, all the way around just staggering them to at least get one piece of hot wire to be real tall, six feet up all the way around. Um, I'll probably put a couple gates in here so we can get the mower in and out still. So I'm going to start pulling some extra four foot posts from the old cattle fence because I ran out. And I think I've, if I do that, I'll end up with enough seven foot posts and four foot posts to try to finish this today. All right, so I was short a couple of posts, so I came up and robbed some from this old fence line. This old fence line runs all the way up this creek and then all the way along that big tree line there. And, and everything along here is gonna come out as far as the fence goes, because we're not gonna be fencing anything in on this side. And then there's some areas by the pond that have an old fencing area too. So there's probably a couple hundred T-posts to pull out that we can use elsewhere. So I got some more green ones, so everything matches. I'm gonna get those in. And I'll be done with the post tonight. Probably won't get to the wire because it's about time to eat dinner. Gotta go start cooking. Because I'm gonna try to line up with the cattle panels and then we're just gonna make a Gates. couple of gates with those hooks. Oh, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty. Pretty close, close enough. One more. Good job. You did it. Okay, I've got about every single post up. Um, I need to do a couple closer right here because I'm gonna make a little gate just with the electric fence hooks and just ho hook them onto a hoop on the other post. Um, I was gonna build some gates, but Heather said, why would you do that? Just, I just wanna unhook them. Um, and then we'll probably only have this on at night. This is really just for the deer. So I'll put a couple more small posts in here and I think tomorrow 
I'm gonna try to rig up something on that gorilla cart where I can put the spool of wire on and drive around and just let it coil out. So, looks good. Our bees are here. I'm trying to look down and watch where I step. So we have a lot of clover. They are over here in the orchard. They're pretty chill. I'm this close to the hive and nobody's even caring that I'm here. <laughs> Over in this bare ground behind the bees where Michael excavated, we threw out bags and bags of wildflower seeds for the bees. Hopefully those will all come up. Eventually this will be the chickens, the rabbits, ducks, and bees in a food forest. Bye ladies. These are our Icelandic chicks. They are about eight days old. We got hatching eggs from someone local and hatched them in our incubator. So these Half will probably be roosters and half will be hens or so. And these will be our breeding stocks to start raising Icelandics. There's 24, 24 babies. All right, everybody, that is going to conclude it for this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just get some mowing done, and we're going to wrap it up. We appreciate everybody watching. If you've not already done it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and thank you for joining us.